Welcome back, it's semi-finals, B Heat. We just had a very exciting race of the first semi-final today and we are under one minute now and the boys are starting first and conditions are a bit stronger than today and Stan is giving us a little bit of an update about that. Yeah, it's a little bit stronger wind today but more consistent I would say. 12 to 15 knots, riders are on 21 to 15 square meter kites. The boys are about to start. Yeah, and we're having beautiful images on the drone here, lining up the riders. And the start is just such a crucial part of this short track. You can already make, make the race just by having a good start. And there it was the signal. Through the radio we just heard it was a clear start, and over, nobody was over early. And we see a tight pack of kites, a little bit upwind and I think downwind there is a fly surfer kite. It must be Guy Bridge from when I was racing I remembered that was something he liked to do. Starting a bit more leeward and just going full speed. And we can see him, it's where we can see it's working out for him. And he is the first one to tag. And clearly over the whole field. And now the others are following. Some competitors, even though we have up to 50 knots, are still on the biggest kite. I just talked to Tony Vodisek on the yellow, uh, yellow, sorry, white ozone here. He told me he's gonna take his biggest kite again, uh, which I believe is a 19 square meter kite. And he's just gonna push it and yeah, we have up to 50 knots and gonna just try to win a lot in the downwind. Um, we will see on the upwind he might have a bit of a disadvantage with the big kite, but he will go very fast downwind for sure. The early tacking paid off. And we can really see um, that the early tacking of the fly surfer kite paid off a lot. I'm still thinking it must be Guy or Yannis. We will see when they come closer. And here we are following the battle between Tony and another fly surfer. Hard to say who it is. And we're switching to the leader. Where is he there? Clear lead has a very comfortable position here. It's gonna be nice for his teammate to take over from such a lead. And it's going now on the reach to the last mark. He's about to round and then over to the changeover line. So now we see him closer, it is Guy actually in the lead as we suspected, followed now by Tony on the white ozone, who is uh, rounding the mark there. And I think in third place it must be Yannis. And they're coming now full speed heading over, Guy Bridge is gonna head it over to Katie Dapson on the blue ozone, we see her going through here a little bit late but on the safe side. And then we have there the white ozone to the white ozone, Team Vodisek and Yanis heading over to Alina. Actually saw that Tony just crashed in a similar position as Theo right after the finish. It's just a, they give full speed on the very last meters. Okay, we see now in the lead is Katie on the blue ozone followed by two white ozone kite. It's really easy to spot Marina Vodisek because she's riding the red orange board on the second place, third place, Alina from Germany. So we see the competitors making their way up to the leeward mark, windward mark, sorry. And now they're attacking pretty simultaneously here. Beautiful pictures on drone. Actually, we see in the back here a sailing regatta happening of the optimists. There is busy on this part of the lake um, where we have the best wind. We 
didn't see it on the drone but on the fourth place was Magda taking a little bit earlier to take the risk and she's hoping that this pays off we will see it soon if this paid off yeah thanks for the update Stan who is having a look on the lake we're watching here a bit more on the drone so we can give you an update of the whole uh, race course what is happening out there and Katie is tagging there she is clearly leading this this round this race and she's on the ley line going around the windward mark comfortable lead and who is gonna be second place there we see a white ozone can't say if it is Marina must be Marina with her board yes and followed by Alina Connelli and Magda is battling in the back but we're gonna focus here on the leader Katie going downwind here already on the other leg can see in the background now there is the other competitors tagging jiving and now she's going for a jibe on the other side and then she has only one more mark to round and she's gonna be happy about that a first place in the first semi-final heat that's a comfortable start to start the day and for them it's super important in this new format there everything is open that they can make it into the finals okay we didn't see that on the drone but marina what is like crashed as a second place on the yellow boy while chiving in the meantime we see katie chiving around the last boy and going into the final reach she will bring home first place for team uk you know we're actually having the drone image there from the yellow buoy as well and there was a position change unfortunately marina lost her second place to alina and now we can see on the fly cipher kite magda in third place the drone unfortunately is not focusing on that right now let's see if we can find them there we go and we see alina now in second place coming into the um, finish and followed by Magda on the fly silver kite who would have thought but yeah that's how it is short track one mistake and um, everything can change from second now to fourth place for team Vodisek but we still have some races remaining so everything is still open and stay tuned for the other races it is super Sunday it will be a very exciting day of racing and it's already the next race about to start